Today we're going to show you how to change the defrost pie metal on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver and a pair of wire snips. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first step in this repair will be to pull the refrigerator out far enough to get behind it and as well to disconnect the power. Next we'll open the freezer door and remove all of the shelving. Next, we're going to remove the evaporator cover. There's a total of 13 quarter inch hex head screws that we'll want to remove off both sides, across the top, and take the next two off just to give us a little more movement. Now with all the screws removed, we can lift up on the upper portion bottom of the cover out, turn it sideways, and we can remove it. We now have access to the defrost thermostat. Now with the evaporator cover removed, we have access to the bimetal thermostat, which is located in the upper right corner here, and the associated wiring harness. The first thing we'll do is we're going to cut that wire tie and remove it. Take care that you don't damage the refrigeration tubing or any of the wires. And then we'll pull that out of the way. Now we need to disconnect the double orange wire connector. Now that terminal may be fairly tight, so you may need to use two sets of pliers to pull it apart. Next we need to disconnect the double brown that goes to a black wire. Pull that terminal apart. Then we'll remove the double brown wire from the evaporator motor. Next, we're going to unclip the thermostat from the tubing. Now use caution when working around that tubing. It is delicate, and as well, be careful around the fins, because they're very sharp. through the rear wall of the refrigerator. Now before we pull those remaining two wires through from the back, we need to remove the back cover. Now the easiest access to that wire harness is to remove the top six screws from this access panel. That will allow that to tilt back far enough that we can access the harness. And you can remove this little end cap, just one less thing to have to drag through that opening. And just take a length of heavy cord or wire, slip it in between the brown and the orange wire, just make a loop around it, and twist that together to hold it in. Now we can open up this putty, expose the opening to that Oh, we will need to remember that when we pull the new one back through, close that hole over so that we're not allowing any room air into the freezer. And with somebody from the front pulling on it, and somebody back here guiding it into place, we can pull that right through. Before we 
attempt to pull that new harness through the opening, we'll remove the tip end cap. We'll loop it around our fish wire and secure that. And if you wish, you can put some electrical tape around that to keep everything together, to keep it from separating. Now, with the help of somebody from the back side, we will pull that connector through, line it up in the opening to make sure that it fits in easily. Next, we will mount the bimetal thermostat to the loop of tubing on the evaporator with the spring clip on the back here. Take caution when working around that tubing and the sharp metal fins. Make sure it has a snug fit. Next we'll reconnect the wire harnesses. Double brown one to the evaporator fan motor. Double brown to the black wire connector. And the double orange to the heater lead. Now with the wire tie supplied, we will Secure that harness, pull it out of the way. Speed it behind and around the two bends of tubing. Snip off the excess. ready to put the evaporator cover on as well as secure the test wire harness at the back and replace the access cover. We'll remove the electrical tape that we had placed on it. Remove the fish wire. All the protective end cap. We'll tuck that in this harness out of the way. And remember to fill that hole back in with the putty. Now we're ready to reinstall the screws on the panel. And now we can go back around to the freezer section and assemble the evaporator cover. Now when installing the evaporator cover, we need to make sure that we hook the top of it over the mounting brackets, but also slide the leading edge up underneath the upper fan. And the bottom should fit inside the drain pan. Now we're ready to reinstall the shelving. And we can reconnect the power and our repair is complete.